Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 10, lesson 4, hands on model decimals and fractions. Page number is uh, 651. Okay, in this one, guys, in this lesson, we will model the fractions like here. Write 0 0.4 as a fraction with a denominator of 10. They want you to write 0 0.4. Now, you know that the place value of the 4 is 10. So, the denominator will be 10, of course. It will be 4 over 10. If it is 0 0.04, the 4 at the hundreds place, then it will be 4 over 100. According to the place values of the last digit, the denominator so 0 0.04 it will be 4 over 10 similarly here guys see this one now 0 0.45 now the last digit its place value is what hundreds so it will be the denominator will be 145 over 100 and its word form 45 hundreds Okay, now 0 0.7 and 0 0.70. For 0 0.7, the fraction is 7 over 10, and 0 0.70, it is 70 over 100. Okay, word form 7 tenths and 7, this is tenths, T, okay, and 70 hundredths. Now you can see in the model, they both are equal to each other. The same area is shaded. So 0 0.7 is equal to 0 0.70. It means what, guys? That this line shows 1 tenths. Tenths, this one, 1 tenths. And this one line shows 10 hundredths. You can count, it is 10. Okay? So 1 tenth is equal to 10 hundredths. Actually, guys, in the decimals, before the decimals, the last zeros doesn't have any value. If you compare them, you will see you have 7 tenths here and 7 tenths here. 0 hundredths, 0 hundredths. Okay. Explain how you could write 9 over 10 as a fraction with a denominator of 100. So if you want to change the denominator into 100, you multiply by 10 down. And when we multiply something down, we must multiply the same number up. You guys remember the rule of equivalent fractions? Okay. So, it will become 90 over 100. They both are equal. 9 over 10 or 90 over 100. And even their decimals, 0 0.9 and 0 0.90. Okay. Uh, explain how you could write 0 0.78. So, it will be 78 over 100. Similarly, guys, here in independent practice, solve all these questions by yourself and then match your answers from this video. And I prefer that you guys also write the word forms of these uh, decimals, like this one here. 12 over 100, so 12 hundredths. Okay, here now, there are 10 cars on the racetrack. If three of the cars are red, what fraction of the cars are not red? If three are red from 10, it means 7 out of 10 are not red. The decimal is 0 0.7 and 7 tenths. On Monday, it's not 0 0.6 of an inch. Write 0 0.6 as a fraction with a denominator of 10. So 6 over 10, 0 0.6, 6 tenths. 0 0.57 is 57 over 100, 0 point, this is point guys, let me darken it for you guys, okay, 0 0.57 and 57 hundredths. The fourth grade class is donating 100 clothing items to charity. 63 hundredths of the items are sweaters. And 0.20 of the items are jeans. What part of the clothing items are neither sweaters nor jeans? So if you add both of them, 
sweater and jeans 63 and 20 which is 83 and the remaining are neither jeans nor uh, sweater so 83 minus 117 so 17 over 100 0 0.17 17 hundredths okay explain to a classmate why 0 0.8 is 0 0.80 name the same number here you can see their fractions and if you see their place values you have 8 tenth is here, 8 tenth is here, no hundredths, no hundredths. So they both are actually 8 tenths. And 1 tenth is equal to 10 hundredths, so 8 tenths equals to 80 hundredths. And here you have some more explanation. I hope you guys uh, understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.